there's nothing that will make me want to sell out my yard. First million. Mm -hmm. I said, Jesus Christ, be rich. <laughs> Whatever you want, it is attainable. How do you do, everybody? I want to stay. I hope everything is good. I am Nova Dean, your host on Yadi Hands, the place where we jump together. Our tagline is Jamaicans United Making Progress. Yadi Hands is where one and wash the other. Our purpose is to exhibit the positive representatives of Jamaica. That is our people who embody the Jamaican spirit in their character and actions. True Yadis. We're talking about Jamaicans who are brave, generous, determined, extraordinary, successful, never giving up. Because them no say, if you want good, your nose off a run. In just a minute, we will be introducing you to the first Yadi who has stepped forward to answer the call to tell his story. So don't move. We want to inspire a new culture in Jamaica where Yadi look out for Yadi first and support each other's pursuits. A mindset that says if it's available a yard, a desomega get it from. In a nutshell, we are trying to build a community of the supported supporting the supporters. You get that? The supported supporting the supporters. And guess what? Each and every Jamaican has a role to play in building this community, which will germinate online, but will flourish in our very own backyards. I look forward to each of you joining hands with us because every yard in Ose, you can't sit on pan bucket and draw water. If you know what that means, drop it in the comments. So today we have our debut guest who was the first to answer the call here is someone with a wealth of skill and knowledge spanning 20 years of experience and practice that many Jamaicans can take advantage of. Drum roll for Dr. Weight Loss. Come on up, Dr. Weight Loss. Uh, Dr. Weight Loss, just smile for the camera, let them see your face before we tell them about you. Before he even speaks, let me tell you something a real Hollywood stuff we are talking about today. And you know the most beautiful part about it? On the North Africa Embassy, go beg no visa for go foreign to get these services because they are available right here at home in Jamdong. Welcome to you, sir. Thank you for having me. So today we have Mr. Donovan Marshall. And Donovan, we have to qualify you for this feature before you even speak. So the first thing you need to tell our audience, what makes you a Yadi? Let, let me say this. No way do better than Yard. That is right. There's nothing that will make me want to sell out my Yard. So that thing that is what makes me and qualifies me and quantifies me to be a Yadi. That's right. And that is the kind of spirit that we're trying to engender with this program. We want to think about Yard first before we think about foreign. So I put a tick beside that answer yes. so we can continue with our interview. Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> All right, so you can take a look at Donovan. He has but one head like the rest of us, but he wears many hats. He's an entrepreneur, a health practitioner, a motivational speaker, and a trainer. And later on in the interview, he will tell us what field he does training in. So stay tuned. Now, I have known Donovan for three years and I did not know that his skill set was so extensive. This is the reason Yadi Hands exists. So you can know how easily within reach some goods and services are to you right here in Jamaica. Donovan, why is it so important for you to tell your story today? How can you help us? As a youngster, I think every youngster goes through this, right? Um, to find your formula or your rhythm. And I would say entering into the, the fashion industry as a young model years ago, young boy, I think. Um, it gives you a certain confidence 
-hmm. and a certain thing about you that you want to represent yourself a certain way an ordinary is not what you really want all right you like things that are extraordinary, extraordinary and live well and yes. the best of everything and why not and so you know when you're young you, you worry about those things and i know that every youngster before they find themselves they want to find themselves some don't even st still find themselves yes but you want to find yourself early that you can develop easier and quicker and so dabbling into the fashion industry for some couple of years well um it helped to develop what i really i'm really good at which is mm -hmm. i think i'm good with people and once you know how to speak to people that's 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 the win that's you see you just identified a lot of quality of <laughs> we are people persons mm -hmm. just like oh, our person people people persons <laughs> <laughs> yes we we like to reach out we like to socialize yes yes yeah and then I realized that I was good at um, training people. I realized that young people, once I catch them young, I can help with my society, my Jamaican Yadi society. Right. And so entering into that, I realized this is what I was called to do. To help people. To help people. So it's really helping. Everything that I do is to help and as in, as in develop people, All if right. you understand. So we're going to delve a little deeper into that as we go along into the specifics of how Dr. Weight Loss, Donovan Marshall, can help us. What is it exactly that you do as Dr. Weight Loss? I mean, it, it sounds like something that many people want to do. They want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it surgery? Is it liposuction? Is it a, is it a washout? What do you do <laughs> without telling us a trade secret? All right, so first of all, when you come into office, we do a consultation to find out what your body is lacking and we find out your blood type your body type and so on and then we find out why are you putting on this weight mm -hmm. so when we have that consultation then we can identify which program is suited best suited for you it's different approaches it's a different to weight loss, exactly but it is is it, is it holistic it's like in it, internal the entire it's it's, it's half and half it's half and half because i have to try and restart your hypothalamus glands what is that sir well it's a hormone that is in located in the brain and it's it's it has the pituitary glands and so on okay. so and when when you're stressed out it goes all over the place you're getting cravings you must eat a cow or the drug of <laughs> ice cream or none at all okay. and so i have the products to restart that and have a better lifestyle all right, all right. You are getting biology lessons too, <laughs> so please take as much information as you can from us. So apart from pursuing your business for profit, I really see where you're also solving a social problem because the truth is that persons who struggle with um, accepting their weight sometimes find themselves in states of depression. That's correct. And that can lead to other social challenges. Yes. Yes. So... We thank you for that kind of influence that you're having thank on you. our people. And as I help, I love it more, and I go a little deeper in it. And so it's not really a stress for some people. You're doing something that you love to do. I really love helping, especially young people. And for the older people who didn't get it, I like to draw them in and say, look. It's not too late. It's not too late. Never and, too late. And it's not so. And don't be fooled. By the way, I look, my parents, I'm I, I'm qualified to talk about life and more, right? Because I'm quite what do you call it, ageable. Senior. <laughs> senior. <laughs> That's the word, senior, right? Okay. I'm quite that, but um because so in because, other words, that of man is not as young as he looks. That's what you're trying exactly, to say. Exactly, and, okay. and and because of what I and do, experience teaches wisdom. Exactly, yes. and how I live my life, stress try to live stress free as possible. And what I, I use my products on myself as well. So I might look young, but I'm not even near to that. So you are a testament of what you do. Correct. How did you become known as Dr. Weight Loss? When one is proficient in the field of whatever they study, then it makes them a doctor. I really want people to come in and understand that I'm in charge once you start the program. Okay. Because we're serious here at body reshaping. 
So you must be able to take instructions. Right. You must be able, you must have the commitment to follow through on the instructions that you're given because that is the only way you can see the results. That's and what a, you're right, saying. Right, and a certain discipline. Without sacrifice, you can't get the results. Right you can't get the results. Exactly. And we are going to be showing you some photos of before, during, and after pictures as more testimonies to the results that you can get from Dr. Wade Loss. what you hear so far i invite you to start the journey with us by liking and subscribing to the channel so you can stay in the loop with new features and please do not keep this information to yourself because yeah these are not selfish people we also invite you to comment and leave your suggestions for us we are speaking to mr donovan marshall of body reshaping branded Dr. Weight Loss, and he can help you with regaining your health, confidence, better lifestyle. And a better lifestyle. And we have a surprise giveaway that we will announce during this program. So please do not tune out. So Donovan, you say that you deliver training. What field is that in? I've been in the industry, fashion industry, for over 20 years. Yes. And I can I can call the name Pulse. I've yes. been training Miss Jamaica Universe, Miss World. Really? Privately for Miss World and, and so on. Caribbean Fashion Week and so on. So we can be proud of that legacy when we tune our TVs into Miss Jamaica World. Yes. And we see our representatives on stage. Yes. Donovan Marshall had a helping hand yes. in that. Donovan, 20 years is a very long time to be in business. And we know that there are many challenges for a business person to overcome. And 20 years is a long time to stick to it, especially in the Jamaican climate where it seems that things are just ever increasingly difficult. What keeps you motivated? If a business was handed to me from my father or my grandfather or so on, then I would worry every day, every week, how do I keep in business and so on. But in fact, I started from the ground. I started from the knapsack with the scale in my bag mm -hmm. and the tape measure. Mm -hmm. And I visited um, people, homes, and I checked the pot if too much grease on the pot, and so on until, until I'm here. In other words, it was a time when you used to walk foot. Yes, yes, before all of this. Mm -hmm. So everything started from one. Well, zero and upwards. And I, and I have mentors that mentor me up to a certain level of success. And you think that is an important thing for an entrepreneur mentorship? It's, it's very important because you can't know everything and you have to open up yourself to learn and to listen. Yes. Otherwise, you have a big thing to pay. You're going to pay and expect, expect expensive. Expect, and you don't want that. So people who have walked the path and know the path, you have to sit and listen and shut up. Yeah. Right? And I went through that process. And then you work on service. And service, yes. and even if it don't profit you, service, because each one tell one, then tell ten, then tell a hundred. Yes. And so from there, I I watch everything went up from one to ten to a hundred and so on. So so you are self motivated because you started this thing from the ground. Yes, I am. And you built it yes, to where it is. So yes. when you get up in the mornings and say I. I'm going to work today. Yes. That motivation comes from inside of yes, you because yes. you own what you are doing. Yes. 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 And service is very important very. to keep your clients happy yes. and to also refer more clients yeah, to man. you. And, and I love my clients because when you come in, you're, you have to get a little personal. Mm -hmm. You have to, yeah, you yes, have to. Based on the nature of Yeah, man. You yeah, and you have to be serious and you have to be honest with me. Yeah. And so you can't come with pride. 
Because I, I made pride. <laughs> if you understand. And so you have to just drop that right there. You have to level. You have to level with me. And once you listen and follow, I can guarantee 98% of who comes through that door must lose the weight. He said it. Almost guaranteed results. 98%. So Thank if you. you are looking for a solution, yes. you have come to the right place. Let me say this. I have a team of doctors as well. That is not anything that I don't understand. We huddle together and say, you know what, this, 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 and this, and this is why, and so on. And I have people that are east. East meaning that they're at the top of their thing. Okay. That, that. I-S-T, east. East, yes. right. Mm -hmm. And so we're like a, a group of people that really, really want to help people to be better. If you understand. So, and they call upon me, I call upon them. So you it's have a community. A community yes, a community a of professionals. Yes. That is why it is guaranteed that it must work. I've never seen anything, anybody that I can't help. Once they want the help and once they're committed, they must lose the weight. Okay. One more guarantee from Dr. Wade Loss. So we're going to divert a bit and this segment is called Our Audience Wants to Know. So the viewers want to know something about it that is unscripted. What is the one Jamaican proverb you would pick out that you would say is applicable to your life? If you have two block friends, you are the third block friend. Mm -hmm. Right? And if you have two friends that is going somewhere or they're rich, you are the third rich friend. So let me break it down a little bit. The company you keep is what determines your future. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all. So you need to rub shoulders with the kind of people who you aspire to be like. Correct. So, Dr. Vaughn, what is your go-to song? That, that song that just gets you off your feet when you want to go and oh, do oh, something. All right. So first of all, I get up in the morning, I have a little devotion, and then you have to make yourself get up. Mm -hmm. And I, I f find that this is one of the songs that get me going. That that give me a vibe that whatever is happening is gonna be okay, because with God, anything is possible. All things are. Oh, thank you for yes, the correction. All, all things, things. And, I, and I must add, whatever I am is God. If you are watching us and you find the feature interesting, no better keep it to yourself. Share the link with a friend or a business associate who you think may benefit from this opportunity to tell their story on Yadi Hands. If someone were to say you are a successful businessman, would you agree with them? Yes, I would. Why? Because when you're moving from zero, everything um, above zero is more success, yes. not true? Yes. And um, every day I learn something new, and every day I strive for more, I mean, I give up. And that's a very positive way to look at it, because sometimes we measure success with a number that is sometimes unattainable because we set our goals so high. We don't try to achieve the ones at the bottom and then climb. We want to start at the top of the ladder. So I like that perspective. You've been doing this for... 20 years and you're self-motivated when did you come to that aha moment where you said yes i found my redeem this is it this is what i'm going to do my main mentor that started out everything um is like a, a father to me father figure and i listen and i don't really listen all the time but him just listen he look for me and say you know that that's all right but all right i'm going you're going to do what you want to do anyway don't know, but I <laughs> That's the kind of mentorship. Mm -hmm. And because of my, that really can use passion. I, I, I tried a lot of different business and I feel, but not really feel. I just realized I said, that's not the right way. Mm -hmm. And my, my mentor allowed me to fail by myself. Mm -hmm. Give me the right advice and it allowed me to fail by myself. And then I, I start to be more responsible in taking risk. And then, I found the rhythm after a while. 
and how I knew that I found it with him is that when I made a million dollar mm -hmm. in business. First million. First million. Mm -hmm. I said, Jesus Christ, I'm rich. I'm rich. And so I called him. And what I did, I did it in cash. I cash out oh, everything. Okay. Mm. And I go and show me the year and I say, really? Jesus Christ, I'm rich. <laughs> and I call him and I say, Mr. Charlton, I'm rich. And he said, what do you mean you're rich? And he said, Mr. Millionaire, come to make a million dollars in business. And he said, I don't know, calm down. Take up the money quick before you make Maybe. any money, before you make money. Oh, and, right. and he gave me some sound advice. He said to me, pick up the money quick. Hide it. Don't tell nobody. After me, you don't tell nobody. He said, not tell your mother. Not tell your siblings. Not tell your friends. No, put away that in your safe. Pretend like you never get it. You never get it. Mm -hmm. And him say, no, we must celebrate. <laughs> and you're not going to spend a dime. Mm -hmm. We are going to take care of you now. Mm -hmm. You're one of us now. Mm -hmm. You found it on your own. And so once you've, once, in, once you've walked the path, you never hear about the path, you know. You actually went on the steps and you know the way. And you walk the, you, no, you, you can't fail again. Anybody who is, is, is in business and is successful and have gone through something like what I got, went through is like to become a butterfly. You have to go through a caterpillar, then you go through that stage Metab of meta 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 metamorphosis, yes. and you go through it, and you go through it, and then butterfly. And so once, you go, once you go through that, you know, nobody can talk to you. Know, you, you you're flying. Literally. And, and, flying. and how tall you, how, 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 how high you want to fly. fly. It's, it's up to you. you. Thank you. So I went through that. And so because of that, I can, I can say that whatever you want, it is attainable. Boy, people, I just we have left it for now. So here we are. Tune in for the next post for part two. It will be just as exciting as part one. Sooner or later.